This ought to keep you buoyant, yeah? It's only 12 miles from London, but couldn't feel more isolated. We're getting deep out of this current, it's going to get stronger, guys, yeah? Feel the current? Yeah, definitely. Pretty strong. And in weather like this, island life on the River Thames is far from idyllic. That's built on stilts already, all yeah? Built on stilts, yeah. All these houses look like they're floating. Rescue diver Richard Holm introduces us to Wheatley's Eyot, a community of around 30 homes surrounded by the river. See my nan's house is under. Yesterday he helped most residents to flee, including his own grandmother. She's 83 years old. How long has she been living here? Since the 60s. Yeah, this is coming through the floor now. The jewels are living on the river, isn't it? Does she see much dredging happening? No, she, she hasn't seen any dredging since Thatcher left, her words herself to me. It's not the first time Richard has had to rescue his nan, but he's never seen the Ayat so bad. Under the bottom of that sign, that far down in 2003, that's a foot above where it's ever been. The only house still occupied belongs to Rick Ismay. Hello. It's built on stilts, high enough that the water doesn't yet pose a threat. Inside, the water seems a world away. Rick and his wife, Suzette, are leaving that outside world where it belongs for now. You built this place on a stilt yep. to match that 1947 flood level. Yep. Are you worried that that might get breached this week? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. I think it might get near it, but I don't think it'll come in, but you don't hold your fingers. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah, that's enough to you. Rick built this house with his own hands and he doesn't want to leave it. But river levels all along the Thames Valley are forecast to get even higher. You don't live here without expecting some trouble with flooding, but some are making new homes here on the Ayers. Most residents have been living here for a long time, many of them in the autumn of their lives. But after floods like these, some might never return. Ty Genwright, Sky News, on the River Thames.